Hey Pops! So today um, I'm just going to be doing a get ready with me video. So I am going to a youth conference with my youth group. Um, we leave tomorrow and we have to be at our church by 3.30 so I am packing today because I will also have schoolwork tomorrow and I won't have time to pack and get my schoolwork done. So yeah, let's see how started. So here I have my suitcase. It's just a normal everyday suitcase. It's purple with dots, it has a little plane here which means it's like plane safe and whatnot or I don't know. I actually don't know what that means. But it's like a traveling suitcase. Okay. And so the first thing I'm going to pack. Um, many of you may not know what the heck these, uh, these are. These are called culottes. They are <laughs> made to when you stand with your legs together. They're supposed to look like a skirt. As you can tell, it kind of looks like a skirt. And then when you run, they're like pants or shorts. So this is what we have to wear to our conferences. We're going to be gone Thursday, Friday, and we're coming home Saturday. So, and for those of you who, my computer is being stupid, for those of you who um, uh, have noticed that it's hard to pack a lot of clothes into a tiny suitcase, Here's a, a trick with almost all clothes. So you take them, so in this instance you fold the pants in half, and you just roll. And that saves a ton of room. Versus... Now, obviously, there is a, uh, still a lot of room, but as you can see, it goes over where the little handles for the handle part is. There's, whoa, there's like little bumps in here. It goes over that. When I roll it up, it actually fits on the other side of that little bump. So there's a little trick to help you pack a lot easier. So those are going to be for one day. And then I have these shiny blue ones. I'm going to wear another day. Right. Then I have some black ones. Anyways, so then, so I got all my cool lots in here. Oh. And then the culottes I'm going to be wearing are just like the black ones. They're just black. They're not special. So then our shirts that we are going to be wearing, or that I'm bringing, is one of our bright teen sweatshirts. Um, it says established. If I can get it to... Over. Stylish 2010. And then this is the back. It says Vessels of Truth. Has a little scripture reference. And then it has our church name down here. Um, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to show you guys what my what church I go to.
All right. And so for rolling the shirts up, it's basically the same technique. You just take it, fold it in half, pull the sleeves out, tuck the sleeves in, and then you just roll. It's in a nice little bundle. And they'll sit there wherever you're going to put them. So, for example, I'm going to put my, my shirts down here at the bottom, underneath all of the, underneath all my culottes. The next shirt is just a plain black shirt, nothing, nothing special about it. And then, oops, dropped my socks. The next shirt I'm going to bring is just another plain black long sleeve shirt. Kind of like a baggy one. Um, yeah. Ooh, I had the hole in it. I don't know if I'm going to bring this one or not anymore. Um... But yeah, I'll pack it anyways. So yeah, same technique, except with long, long sleeves, I tend to take the, the sleeves up and put them up again like that before I roll them up. You guys can probably hear the music playing behind me. If you're wondering what it is, it's from a Broadway musical production called Heather's. Okay, and this is not one of them. I'm also bringing this shirt. Um, it's just uh, blue with gray on the insides. Um, I'm not bringing this shirt um, necessarily to wear on one of the days. Um, we were told to bring athletic clothing. Um, clothing that we can wear to work out if we go to like a gym or something with the rest of the church. So that's what this is actually for. But I'm still going to put that with my shirt. So there we go. I got my culottes and my shirts all packed up. So then... And just some underclothes, socks. I really love the socks that are like no shows, the really tiny ones. I'm actually wearing no show socks right now. And they're so cute because they have, I cannot get them in the camera. Here we go. They have a skunk on them. And it says, Love Stinks. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? And then I have my pajamas. Um, I'm just wearing a Golden State Baptist College shirt that I got at, an, at a different conference. And just some little Christmassy bird pajama pants. Now with pajamas, you can do them the same way you've been doing the rest of the clothes, but... I do it like this. You la overlap them. And you roll them up together. They fit nice and snug. The next thing I'm going to pack is just a couple of tank tops. I just have a black one and then a gray one. Um, just in case I need one 
I brought a short sleeve shirt to sleep in because I usually get really warm at night. Um, but even if that is a little much, even though it's just a plain t-shirt, I'm also going to uh, have some tank tops I can wear. Uh, the next thing I'm going to pack is just some leggings. And I like these leggings because they have like these cute little button things. At the end, they don't, like, unbutton or anything. I don't think. <gasps> they do unbutton. I didn't know that they unbuttoned. I thought they were just, like, little decorations. That's cool to know. So, yeah. Just some little leggings. I'm going to put those up with my pants. Or my pants. My culottes. Um, I'm also going to pack some Nike Pros. Because I'm a cheerleader. And I can't go anywhere without Nike Pros. I probably won't wear them. Unless I wear them, unless I decided I don't want to wear leggings and I want to wear my Nike Pros under my skirt. Or if, again, I get too warm and my pajama pants are a little much and I'll change into those. Or, we probably won't have a lot of time to just hang around our hotel room, but those are also for hanging around my hotel room. Um, the next thing I'm going to be wearing, bringing is um, since it's a church camp we have to go to preachings and dress nicely so this is like a little pink peachy I can't really tell what color it is in the camera it looks more orange but it's like a pink peachy has these little designs on them really cute put that with the rest of my clothes. Okay, these are gonna have to move over. Put those up there. These are gonna go here too. Alright. We still have a lot of stuff to get in here. Then this is my skirt. It's um, longer in the back, shorter in the front. Um, it's just black. It has these little ties with just little simple metal things. But I got this for my birthday. And it has like these little slit hole things in it. And then I love the patterning. Me and my mom got this at Walmart. And the peaching coloring on the skirt also matches the coloring on um, the shirt. And speaking of the peaching coloring, I'm also going to be bringing... this cheer bow because the coloring is almost the exact same it's a little lighter the camera makes it look like it's a lot lighter but it's only a little lighter than the this so I'm gonna put this up here I'm also bringing um this shirt, this western shirt, um, in case, uh, well, in case I just want to change what I'm wearing to the services, or I get this one dirty, because I went to one conference one year, and I was wearing a white shirt, and I went up to do one of the challenges, one of the games. And they had this giant bowl and it was covered. You know what was in it? It was bobbing for apples. And a bowl of chili. So it was real interesting. I had chili all down my shirt. I got a free shirt. I didn't get this shirt, but I got a free shirt. And here's the proof it happened. This was the tie I was wearing. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there's, like, right there, that's still chili. It still smells a little bit like rotten chili. Well, it smells like rotten chili now, but that's chili. This is a good song. Alright. Um, along with the athleticness, um, I'm bringing 
my cheer sweatpants. Get them in the camera. Cheer sweatpants. Because I was told we were allowed to bring sweatpants to work out in. Alright, that's going to lay there. And then the last thing I'm packing in this, or for clothing, is my cheer jacket. It just says, um, cheerleader, WHS. Oops. And I'm packing this because it's Oregon and you just, you just never know what the weather's going to be like. Yes. Um, I guess I'll show you what I'm wearing tomorrow. So you guys saw the, sh the culottes I'm wearing. I'm just wearing this bright yellow t-shirt. Um, I'll have to pull it back since, it, since the neck thing dips down pretty far. Because our church's rule is that you take your finger, your pointer finger, and you find the hollow of your collarbone, which is about right here. A little dip in part, like here's like your the your chest bone, whatever it's called, and that little hollow right there, the hollow of your collarbone. Collarbone, that's what it is, your collarbone. Right there, you put your four fingers together, and if your pinky is touching fabric, then you can wear it. If your pinky is not touching fabric, you can't wear it because it's too far down. That's just the that's just the rule. So the next thing, and then I'm just wearing some no show socks again and I'm gonna bring my um, my new chest binder because this is the by the way this is the chest binder I got for when I cosplay and I actually really like it I've worn it to cheer practice um, and I actually really like it although it does get pretty does when you're doing a lot of stuff it does get pretty hard to breathe um, so you just gotta be careful so the next thing I'm going to pack is, um, well, I'll pack, that's big, I'll pack the small stuff, is, of course, makeup remover wipes, that's one of the important things I need to pack. So, talking about makeup remover wipes, I'm going to be packing my Supernatural makeup palette. I got this at Hot Topic. It comes with a wide assortment of colors and it blurred out. It comes with a little tiny brush that I like never use, but yeah, my makeup palette. Um, I think I'm gonna put in that part of my bag. Um, so obviously I'm not gonna be packing everything. Um, everything today because I also have to like I'm not gonna pack my shower stuff because I'm gonna shower tonight or possibly in the morning. And all that good jazz. Um, and here in this one is just the makeup. The rest of the makeup I'm going to be bringing. Um, I have like two other tiny eyeshadow palettes in here. Because I just wanted to make sure I have a color for each thing that I'm wearing. I'm not like a huge makeup person. But I don't want to be wearing like a yellow shirt and purple eyeshadow. Because that would just look stupid. I'm not Punky Brewster. I, I can't rock yellow and purple. Um, also in here is my toothbrush, uh, toothpaste, such and such. I think there's a couple of band-aids in here because I just never take this. I just never took my band-aids out. And so that's going in there. Nice and, oh my goodness, look at that. It actually, like... It just sits perfectly in there between everything. Alright. So, my brush I'm bringing. But again, I need this for tomorrow. The last thing I'm packing in this. I believe it's the last thing. I'm looking for something I missed. I missed. I didn't miss anything. This is the last thing that I'm packing. Um, I'm going to make a totally different video about what's in this. But this is my... Um, uh, my cheer emergency kit 
and um, yes, it is for cheer, but there's stuff in here that'll be useful for any sports or whatnot. I'll give you a little sneak peek. You can't really see anything beyond those, but there it is. There's everything. And I'm gonna make a totally separate video about that, but there's just like some body spray, some essential oil spray, um, band-aid, you know, just an emer emergency stuff. It's an emergency kit. It, there's emergency stuff in here. And that's gonna sit right here, all nice and snug. And then, again, my shower stuff, shampoo, conditioner, such and such. That'll be probably, that'll probably go like right here. It'll go somewhere I can fit it. It might have to, I just end up going up here on the top with my bow. So yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Well, actually, huh, this isn't over yet. I'm actually also going to be packing a car bag and I'm also gonna show you guys the car bag video. So I'll see you pups in a minute as soon as I get all this good stuff moved out. All right, pups. So now we're gonna pack my car bag and I am just bringing this. It just has my Radiant Northwest Pass on it. It has my name. Um, has a bunch of little pins and whatnot. Actually, this one right here I got. I also got a Radiant Northwest from one of my from one of my best friends, um, and she got the Victor one. So yeah, and one of these pins is actually popped out of place. So let's put that back into place. That's the one thing I hate about pins on backpacks is that they un is that they pop they pop out of place. All right, so. And if you're wondering where I got this bag, I just got it at Hot Topic, along with most of these pins. Um, this one, I should make like a whole video on just like the pins on my backpack. But I got Hot Topic, Hot Topic, Hot Topic, Hot Topic. No wait, Hot Topic, Hot Topic, Hot Topic. I got this from my friend, but she got it from Hot Topic. Uh, salt and straw, salt and straw, salt and straw. One of my family friends. Hot Topic, Hot Topic, Hot Topic. Uh, Radio Northwest. And then I got these both from Rocky Bento. Okay, so in my travel bag, of course I'm going to have... Let's get my camera over. Of course I'm going to have all of, um... Uh, my chargers and whatnot in them. In it. But just for now, I'm going to be packing a notebook, just a blank uh, page notebook. And I'm supposed to have another notebook to write down um, stuff I learned at the conference. But I'm not taking that because I never write anything down. I'll just end up doodling and then I'll get in trouble for doodling during the service. But I'm actually going to bring this because I'm hopefully going to be able to finish one of my books. And I'll be able to print it off have my friend proofread it, and then um, while she proofread it, I'll be able to get it down into this book. So I'm bringing this, and it's like fake leather. It's really cute. From Paperworks, if you are wondering. I got it for my birthday. Thank you, Daddy. So I'm bringing that. I am bringing this little green container. It just has racer writing utensils. All that jazz. Um, this goes in my backpack all the time. It's just got stuff in it that uh, I'm not going to really go into detail about. But it has stuff in it. And then it's like another tiny little emergency kit. And then just colored pencils because I get bored easily. And with colored pencils is a book. I got it's just like a little mini pushing a coloring book that I got from Hot Topic. So yeah, because we're only going up to Portland, so it's not that far of a drive. I'll probably sleep most of the way or be uh, writing my story down.
So, yeah, that's all that's going to be going in my travel bag. Now, this is my purse. And in my purse is where everything else is going to be. So I have my earbuds in here. I have my Bible, King James Version. I got this at our local store. Um, my wallet, of course. I, I always bring a deck of cards no matter where I'm going because cards, you can, cards, like you can play with cards. I have my fidget spinner because I fidget a lot. Sunglasses, of course. Um, and then my collar with its lock. And I have my very own pick set. And that's an amazing form of entertainment. And I love this purse because it can fit a whole bunch of stuff in it. So yeah, obviously I'm going to bring my chargers and whatnot. But those I kind of need tonight. Like I said, when I was putting my clothes in my bag, I am going to wait till the morning to put everything that I'm using tonight uh, in there. So yeah, that is my get ready with me video guys so uh, I guess I'll hopefully I'm really hoping I'll be able to vlog the um the conference I don't know but I'm hoping I'll be able to so yeah see you guys in the next video bye pups